welcome to my channel, my name is Makeup. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Mimi and I'm a psychiatrist and a makeup artist. And if you love makeup tutorials, DIYs, reviews and all this lovely girly stuff, consider subscribing to have notification every time I upload a new video on my channel. And if you are a subscriber already and you are coming back to my channel, I'm so happy to have you all here. Bye! So in this video, as you saw, my hair is done. So I'm gonna do my hair with you and go from zero to hero and as you can see it's so sleek and so beautiful i love this kind of hair very sleek and beautiful and soft and shiny so i'm gonna like show you the process that i'm doing i had another video like from like a year ago i guess when i had a uh, longer hair so i'm gonna link it in the comment description box down below actually um it's the same technique but i changed a little bit of like the stuff that i'm using um for my hair so i'm gonna like talk about everything in this video so if you want to see how i do my hair and yeah before we go any further uh, just one thing that you're gonna see my hair in different levels it's not that i'm cutting it in layers because i have a very different levels in different parts which is crazy but I, after the vaccination, my hair began to go crazy and begin to lose length and like volume and like become really crazy. So I'm trying my best to make it like straight or perfect as much as I can. But at the same time, I don't want to cut it, cut it really short to have all in one length. So I'm trying to keep it a little bit longer like this or longer. So um, I had like this far here i didn't cut it just like um begin to split and pull out and you're gonna see on the back here i have the center of my head on the back really short begin to become a little bit longer now but it used to be really short so i'm trying my best to keep my hair like as much as i can in the same length but you're gonna see different layers okay that's okay but i'm gonna show you the process so if you saw this don't ask yourself what is going on in my hair because it's a mess and I'm trying my best to grow my hair back. So yeah, if you experience anything after the vaccination like this, please leave me know in the comment section down below so we can help each other if there's anything you are doing. And if you want to like hear about my story trying to grow my hair back because we come to become a little bit longer than I cut it. So um, I'll be so happy to make a full video for you. So let me know in the comment section down below. So stop lobbing and let's go to the tutorial and show you how I make my hair very sleek and beautiful like this. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Hi everyone again. So let's start our tutorial. And as you can see, this is my hair. It's not 100% natural, like the from my scalp is a natural hair, virgin hair, but I had a curtain treatment. It's almost gone, but I still have kind of a sleek hair still. Now I'm gonna use this one. I used already this one, this serum, when my hair was damp because you use it on a damp hair. So my hair was damp when I used it and I used it from half of my hair down to um, the ends because it's really good in like add a lot of moisture and actually save my hair from heat and then, then I'm gonna add more heat protection I'm gonna use this one from L'Oreal and this is my hair straightener I just add it to the electricity and it's in 220 Celsius so um, I'm sorry you can't see it because my camera was in focus so so I'm gonna leave it to heat up now I'm gonna spray the heat protection all over my hair and make sure I covered everything, especially the ends. This is so important when you use a lot of heat over your hair because it really helps to protect your hair from damage. So as you can see, I added a generous amount. Then I'm gonna use my brush to brush the product all over my hair to make sure it's redistributed in really nice way. And now I am um, dividing my hair into two sections, right and left. That is always how I do it. And I brush my hair. So this is the second part I'm gonna do later on. I always start from the left side because I'm right-handed, so it's easier for me. So as you can see, I'm brushing everything to make sure it's sleek and there is no 
like knots or something now it's time to add my favorite oil all the time it's l'oreal extraordinary oil i love this oil so much and have a review for it i'm gonna link it in the card description box down below if you want to go and see it so i'm adding this oil because really add a lot of moisture and in the same time it doesn't make my hair greasy and like it works as a heat protection so i'm trying to grow my hair back and by using uh, hot tools all over my hair every time i wash my hair i'm trying to protect it as much as i can so of course as you saw i brushed everything and my um, hair strainer is ready to be used and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a small section like as you can see you can add a section like or um, divide your hair into sections before you start the a styling process but um, as you go with it, it will be a lot easier to section as you go so as you can see I have my protection this section is a little bit big but because my hair is a really short and as you can see this is what I'm talking about my hair is really short on the back because of the vaccines completely damaged but it began to grow up hack so that's really good so as you can see i'm trying my best to go as as near as to my scalp as i can but don't touch your scalp because you will burn your scalp if you do it so just as close as you can as you can see i al always like use um, from three to four um, times like passing the hair strainer all over my hair three or four and that's enough for me as you can see with my two fingers i took another section of the hair it's really big section but i'm gonna divide this section to a smaller section working from down up and make sure there is no tangle and now i'm gonna take a smaller section as you can see like this and take the rest with another clip and clip it away And now with this section, it's ready to be styled. And again, take my straightener and go as near as I can and just go in one strike. Another one until you feel your hair is pretty good and straight and nice. And as you can see, I feel there is a little bit of hair and I need to be done. That's why I go, like I went back to that previous part to do it. As you can see, it's really straight and nice. The back part of my hair is really short, but as I go, it will be longer. As you see here, it's a little bit longer. Because as I told you, I have different levels of different like layers. And I don't want to cut my hair really short. Again, I'm going as, my, as close as I can to my scalp. Like I'll just do two strikes before I go all the way down to the ends. That will help to make the hair around my scalp really nice and really straight and then I go down. And with my hands I feel if I need anything to be fixed, if I feel there is still a little part around my scalp especially, need to be um, more straight. That's how, why I go back like this. And I'm gonna continue doing the same thing, taking like small sections like this and um, straight it with the hair straightener until I finish my hair. I always go from back to front. That's way easier to go from front to back. And I always start with the left part or left half. And then I finish with the right one because I'm right-handed. So it's easier for me to start with this. If you are uh, left-handed, it would be easier for you to start with the right part and then go to the left part. And this is like um, how I do the really back part in the middle of my head I just go um, around the scalp first and then take it to the side and just make it straight and nice and make sure that it is very nice and straight and voila as you can see I always brush to make sure is everything is perfect and I feel how my hair around my scalp and back feels if I feel I need any more like um, strikes like this, I just continue doing this. And I'm gonna leave you now to see the rest of my hair and how I do it, how I divide it until I finish this part. And I'm gonna come back in a second after I finish this part to show you some little tricks that I do on the other side to make my hair on the back very beautiful. So stay tuned and enjoy watching. Started as a whisper Message from a new world I'd never known Something about it felt like I've been waiting my whole life Is this home? I can hear each sound Calling my name And I feel angels around When I start to sing and 
Okay, as you can see, this part is pretty nice, pretty straight, sleek, beautiful, shiny, and super soft. Okay, as you can see, really good. Comparing to the other side, I still have um, a really nice texture to it. It's not 100% straight because I still have a curtain treatment over it and it's not 100% curly. So, as you can see, there's still a difference. This is how I love to style my hair all the time. So, I'm going to do the same steps that I did on the left side to the right side. And again, do the same thing, like the same technique and same oil, same everything. So now what I'm going to show you, I'm doing the same thing, I'm not doing anything new, but I'm just adding the comb because it's really hard to reach the um, like right part, like right back part of my head with my hand. So I'm using the help of a comb to help me to reach this part and at the same time make it like nice and soft and sleek. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just take the middle part of my head, my hair, on the middle part of my head and just make like one or two strikes with the hair strainer to make sure the two sides join together. And in the same time, if there is any imperfection, um, the hair needs to be like be more straight in the middle. I just do always do that as I work my way. You're going to see in a minute again after I finish this section, I'm doing the same thing thing um, that really helps to make my hair it looks really nice and like one piece on the back of my head not divided into two sections because as you can see I'm working like the right side to the right side and left side to the left side which will help to make a very like a separation in the middle and you need to prevent that as you can see I'm just taking the middle section again and just join the two sides together to make it one that really helps to um, like make this line disappear if you're doing your hair you understand what i'm talking about um i began to notice that after many times that i uh, make my hair straight by myself at home so i always do that to make sure my hair looks really good on the back all the time so i'm gonna continue what i did on the left side to my right side and i'm gonna come back at the end
Yeah, finally I finished my hair and as you can see, I brush it, make sure it's good and it looks so beautiful. So last thing what I'm doing, I always add one bump, one full bump of the L'Oreal oil and rub it against my hands and just concentrate it to the ends of my hair and make sure really saturated, really nice. And then take the rest and add it to the rest of my hair around my scalp and like, like this. All the time that's what I do just um, what's left on my hand just distribute it all over my head but the, um, the concentration of the oil always on the ends and then brush everything to make sure everything is distributed all over my hair and yeah this is it it's really nice and soft as you can see my hair looks fresh sleek and smooth this is how I always love doing it and now I'm gonna divide it um, like take the section here to um, like section my hair as I usually do. I always do it that way. So yeah, this is for this video. I really hope it was helpful and you learned something from it. And yeah, that's it. Uh, this brush is a very, very good brush. It's from my brush. I just got it really, really recently and really helps to distribute the natural oil of the hair. Um, and also really help to distribute the oils that you add to your hair all over your hair. So that's why I brush my hair. And as you can see, really help to make my hair super shiny and super soft. I really love it. So this is the last step. And yeah, hope you like it. So this is the video. I really hope it was helpful and you learned something new. Uh, this is how I do my hair all the time. Uh, I'm not an expert of course, but I'm doing my hair for like years and years and years and this is the quickest and the very nice, like nice, the very like easiest way to do my hair. So yeah, it took me about like 30 minutes to do this short hair. It really takes longer, like 40 minutes when I have a longer hair. So um, this is how I do it with my hair straightener. And as you saw, I used my baby here. It's a Remington. It's really old, but still so good. I love it so much. So yeah, I have a view for this oil. I'm gonna link it in the card description box down below if you wanna see it. And yeah, I I think this is it. I really hope you like this video and as usual, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and share the video with your friends if you like it. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. These links will be in the description box down below. And don't forget to hit the bell button so you have notification every time I upload a new video on my channel. 
and I'm gonna see you soon in the next video. I love you so much. Bye.